Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to Apple Makes. Um, it's been a while since I last posted, so I'm, first of all, super sorry for that. Uh, February was very busy and February is also short, so I just didn't have time to upload and then I was like, all right, well, we'll just move on to March and then March has been really busy, but I had a little bit of time today. So I do actually have a lot to show you guys. So we'll start off with the obvious. Uh, my my uh, FO for today is uh, what I'm wearing right now. So sorry, I'm like sitting on my floor. So let's see if I can show the whole, the whole fantasy. So I finally finished my sweater number 15 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. <laughs> Bit of a journey. I'll be honest, the actual knitting of it was a lot of fun. Um, I just like paused the project a lot to work on some other things. And so it's been, it's been a few months, but I'm finally done with it, washed and blocked. Um, and I'm really happy with it. So this is in Drops Flora, which is their fingering weight alpaca wool blend and then held with a strand of their drop silk. So I will say for me, it's a little bit itchy. I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath, which helps a lot. Uh, but I think I'm just a little bit more sensitive to mohair. So if you're like me and you're a little bit sensitive to animal fibers, I would say Drops Kid Silk is not necessarily like the softest, highest quality one. Um, but I have tried other ones that I think are a little bit better, like um, the Knit Picks Aloft I think is good. It's a little bit pricier, but I think that's kind of one of those you get what you pay for situations. But yeah, back to the sweater. Um, like I said, a lot of fun making it. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a really easy to follow pattern. It's just once you get into the groove of making the cables, it's really straightforward. And even though the gauge is on the smaller side, I felt like it did go by pretty fast when I was actually working on it. And I didn't use that much uh, yarn on it either. I was a little worried I wouldn't have enough, but I think I still have almost a full skein of both the drop silk and the flora left so doesn't use up a lot um you can check out my ravelry page for more notes i'm i'm pretty a pretty diligent note taker on my projects so you can follow along um but yeah the fit is great i knit a small i knit a small and i was a little worried actually at first because the cables were so bunched up i was worried that it was getting really tight in the sleeves but it blocked out really nice and i'm really happy it is getting warmer so it's like i can't really wear this as much um and i am getting a little sweaty in it right now but it looks great and i can't wait to have it for next next winter yeah uh i think uh the only other thing i wanted to say is i mentioned it in the previous video but i did do the modification of uh tapering the sleeve slightly i'm like trying to find if you can see oh yeah so you can kind of see like right right along here i decreased out so i'm gonna just show you my armpit <laughs> I decreased out a cable very, very slowly on both arms so that I wouldn't get the sort of more flared effect on the sleeve because I just felt like that would be kind of harder to wear. Um, and I also modified the collar to be a regular rib instead of a twisted rib. I think at least for me, regular rib is a little more elastic. Uh, twisted rib for me, like it lays a little bit more flat. So I think for the collar to avoid it stretching out too much, that's what I went with and I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, I'm excited to finally have this done. And I promised in my last video that I would and I would be wearing it. So here I am, I kept my promise. It's just a month late. All right, so moving on to webs, which I do have quite a few of and they are just lying here on the floor and on my chair. So let me show you, I don't know, these are kind of in a random order. So one that I've been working on, although I have not touched this in some time is actually another Ingrid sweater. <laughs> so I finished one uh, in my last video and I was really happy with it, but I ended up giving it to my brother because it was a little bit too big for me, um, specifically in the length. So this time around, I am going to try to shorten the sleeve slightly, uh, basically doing the same thing as I did with the body, which is make the double rib portion a little bit shorter. Um, and I'm doing it this time in a sort of tweedy color, which I think is gonna be super cute. Oh, yeah, I think that's gonna be really nice. Um, this is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Tweed in Oyster Heather, which is like this nice, like beigey, warm beigey color. 
So this has been on hold for a little bit, um, which is fine, I think, uh, because I obviously have already done this pattern before. So I think it's still really nice the second time around, but it's not necessarily as exciting, obviously, because I've seen it all before. But again, it's a pretty quick knit. Um, so once I get back to this, I imagine I'll be able to finish off pretty soon. So yeah, so that's, well, that's in the works. Um, again, if you haven't knit an Ingrid sweater, I would really recommend it. It is just a really fun pattern and it fits, it does fit really well. Um, it was kind of on me. Um, I didn't really measure how much my swatch grew lengthwise. So I didn't expect that the sleeves would be too long, but other than that, it is a great fit. So yeah, excited to get back to this one. So that's one of my whips. Let me stuff it back into its project bag. All right, next up is another petite knit pattern. And this is one that I've had my eye on for a while because I think it's like such a good pattern for like everyday like uh, sweaters, like lots of like staple pieces, but with a little wrinkly. So this is my terrazzo sweater. Let me back up a little bit. Uh, so I have the body done um, and part of the hem done. So I'm knitting this in, um, this winter glow from, I never know how to say it. Is it Hobby or Hobie or, or something like that? Anyways, Hobby, Hobby. This is their winter glow. I love, I love this color so much. I've had it, I had my eye on it for so long on the website. And then one day when it was on sale, I was like, okay, I'm going to grab it. And I was originally going to use it to make a sampler blanket. I think I actually showed it in a previous yarn time episode. And I'll be honest, I was being so ambitious. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll knit, knit up a blanket during my vacation. Obviously didn't start it at all. And I just don't think I have it in me to make a blanket. I think partly because I don't really, I don't really want a blanket that badly. So I'm not super, super motivated to, to make it. Like I would rather just make clothes. Um, so I was like, in, you know, I was looking through my stash and I, and I saw it again. And I was like, you know, I think this would look so good. Um, in like a nice plain sort of essential sweater to like really let this colorway shine. Um, and so that's, that's what I went for. I'm super happy with it. And I originally swatched it on its own, but it's not really a worsted weight. Like, I don't know if you can really tell. I mean, it's sort of one of those yarns where the thickness is sort of variable. Like some, some, some segments are really thin and some segments are a little bit closer to worsted weight, but I, I would say on average, it's probably closer to a DK or maybe even a sport. So I wasn't getting gauge on just it held on its own. So I went ahead and added some, what is this? Uh, this is the Alpaca Super Light from Lang Yards, which I'd never tried before actually, but I found this yarn shop based out of I think Illinois or something called Woolen Company, which I, I had never heard of before, but they have so many yarns that I was looking for and I, wanted to try alpaca instead of a mohair because like I said, I have sort of a sensitivity to it. And so this is, uh, this is, uh, but, uh, sorry, 54% uh, alpaca, uh, 24 nylon, and then 22 wool. So this is a pretty nice blend. The winter glow is a, a pretty much half wool, half acrylic. So I, you know, I already had some synthetic in the mix. So I thought this would be a good, a good choice and this is in their light gray color which is to me almost a little bit lavender um but i really like it in this fabric i think it sort of helps to tie all the different colors together it gives it sort of like a nice muted tone um and i'll be honest <laughs> uh i was inspired because of the original yarn that petite knit uses in the terrazzo sweater which is that noro uh silk garden sock solo i don't know the name so so long but it has that really beautiful um variegated appearance so i really want to go for a similar vibe and so i'm really happy with this um i didn't make any modifications i don't think the only one is i went with a split hem so you can see i've, I've done the front hem and not the back and I did it with, again, regular rib. I just, I, I prefer regular rib most of the time as opposed to twisted rib, which is what the pattern calls for. Um, I just like how it looks nice and fluffy. I think twisted rib has more of like a really defined appearance, which is good if you, if that's what you're looking for, but I like the fluffy, fluffiness of it. Um, and then the split hem, I just thought I would try it. Why not? I think that might be kind of interesting. So yeah, 
so this is been a really fun project um also just doing a project where there's no like texture it's kind of satisfying and you know every once in a while because it goes so fast right just knitting stocking it in the round it gives like so quickly um especially at this gauge so it's kind of nice to see it grow so fast like i started this at the beginning of the month and it's already already here which is pretty fast for me so this has been really enjoyable um, I am setting it aside because I have another whip that is a little higher priority. So let me grab that and show you. All right, so I'm kind of mid row on this one. So let me see if I can kind of like pull it up. Um, so here is my other whip that I've been working on. Oh, this color looks really good on camera. So this is actually a cardigan um and i'm doing ooh, doing a circular yoke for the first time which you can't really see that clearly because it's just in one solid color so i will link the pattern below this is some random french pattern that i found on ravelry which was free and i was just looking for a super basic sort of uh, more body fitted cardigan pattern and the original one uh was for a striped cardigan. So I obviously am not doing that. I wanted to do a solid color, um, but I really wanted to do like kind of a lightweight cardigan, especially since the spring is approaching. So I bought this, uh, what is this? This is Cascade Heritage Sock, I think, which is awesome because Cascade has so many colors. So I also bought a few other colorways, um, but this green is so beautiful. It's, I think it's their Jasmine green colorway love it i've been really into green as you can tell obviously uh, and i think this is a great spring color so this is just me knitting a super simple cardigan um it's going to be pretty cropped i think and then it's going to have nice long sleeves and the, again the goal is for it to be pretty fitted to the body something that i can wear like kind of on its own um into the springtime and so i kind of want to kind of want to finish this by next month so right now it's Today is March 26th, I think. Yeah, March 26th. <laughs> and I'm going on vacation. I'm going to LA um, next month. I really want to finish it before then so I can wear it on that trip. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. It's, it's fingering weight yarn. Uh, I'm doing it on, at least I think it's 3.75 uh, millimeters. So it is a little bit slow going and it is a cardigan. So I'm knitting it in, I'm knitting it flat, at least the body. So, you know, having to purl every other row is slowing me down a little bit, but overall it hasn't been too, too bad. I started this around the same time as my terrazzo sweater. So I'd say the progress is not terrible for me. Um, so I will try to kind of buckle down on this. And so far it fits great. Um, the pattern is like really simple, but it's like pretty easy to adjust. And I'm also following someone else's notes on Ravelry. Uh, to kind of help me with like the the increases and everything. So yeah, I, I th I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it doesn't look like much, it doesn't look like much right now. Um, but I think it will be really nice when it's done and I already have the buttons for it, um, which are really cute. So yeah, that's my other, that's my whip. I think this is the last one actually. I only have three, yeah, I only have three projects going on right now. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. So that's it for whips. Um, let me put that away. I'm just sitting in front of my closet doors right now. So <laughs> sorry about these very distracting door handles. Um, let's, let's just wrap up. I think today's will be pretty short actually. Um, let's just wrap up with some acquisitions. So, um, if you remember earlier, I was talking about the terrazzo sweater and how I was really inspired by the original yarn combination that petite knit was using but i could not for the life of me find that particular colorway on the noro silk garden sock solo anywhere um i think it's probably a little bit easier to find noro if you're in like the in, like in europe maybe i don't know that just seems to be my impression or if you're like in the uk um but here i am in america so it seemed like i couldn't find it anywhere and then when i went on that woolen company website and i will link them below I actually did find it. Um, not the first time that I ordered, but actually I went on their website later and it seemed like they had restocked. And so I finally got my hands on that color that Petite Knit uses for the terrazzo sweater. So this is 
um, S1, and I think it's called Om Omitama or something like that. So I, I bought it immediately, obviously, because I was like, when am I ever going to see this again? <laughs> um, wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be buying more yarn, but I did. Um, and so this is actually a super interesting blend. Um, 40% wool, 25% silk, obviously it's in the name. Um, and then there's 25% polyamide and then 10% mohair, which I don't think will bother me. I, I hope, I don't think it will bother me. Um, because there's only 10%, but yeah, I mean, this color is just so awesome. Like it's variegated, but it's also speckled. So I'm super excited to knit this up. I probably will just make another terrazzo sweater with this. Like, I feel like the terrazzo sweater is something that you can have multiples of in your closet. And then you can do a lot of modifications. Like for example, with the one that I'm working on right now, I probably won't go for the roll neck. I might just do like a high neck, um, for it to be a little bit more wearable. And then I don't know, maybe with the Noro, I'll just do exactly what the pattern calls for. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to get around to this anytime soon because I have a lot of other things on my plate right now, but I'm just excited to have it. And I'm even more excited because I decided to again go with some Surrey Alpaca for um, the second strand. And I went on Etsy and I found the shop that does hand dyed Surrey Alpaca for like a really reasonable price. I think it was like $9 per skein, which is crazy. I will also link their shop below. They were super nice to me. Um, and sent me extra picture, but I got, I got their, this is their light gray with mauve, I think. So it's like this warm purpley, again, kind of lavender-ish. Um, it's more lavender than the, uh, Lang Alpaca. So this is them side by side. You can see they're kind of similar, but the Lang is definitely a little bit cooler. But this is just so beautiful. Oh, and it looks so good in the afternoon light right now. So it has like these sort of splotches of lighter and darker and I think that is gonna look really good like I I think it's gonna look really good together so I'm, I'm super excited I think Petite Knit used like a champagne mohair in hers so it gave it more of like a warmer look so this will give it definitely more of a like cooler tone I think to it but when I saw this on the store website I was just like oh my god I have to have it and it's so soft so so soft oh so i'm really excited this is an acquisition i'm very happy about noral obviously was a little on the more expensive side but i only had to buy four skeins of it because every each skein is 100 grams so that was nice um i have a few more acquisitions but i forgot to take them out so i will be right back okay i'm back i had to go back into my closet so along with the um, original one company order that I did to get the alpaca, I also bought um, another colorway. So this is, I don't remember what this is. I mean, this is just like their off-white color. I mean, this is super pretty and I can use this for a lot of different projects. I originally got it because I was thinking of considering of, I can't speak, I was thinking or considering um, using this with the Noro because I mean that would be like a like an idiot proof combo right obviously but after I saw the Etsy shop I was like okay no I'll do that instead so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I have a sweater quantity of it I mean can't hurt to have this in my stash um so I'll also show you the other colors I got of the Cascade Heritage Sock um, two super basic colors. This is their macadamia, but this is so pretty. Like this is like a beautiful neutral. It kind of reminds me of, um, I think like the almond colorway in the, I don't, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. The sand scarn. <laughs> I said that so wrong. Um, that, they're, they're like double Sunday. I think it's like their petite knit collaboration. It kind of reminds me of that. I don't, I don't have it, but I've seen a lot of people using it. And it's just like this super beautiful, like kind of neutral, light beigey color. And I got two, no, I got three skeins of this. And then here's the other awesome thing about Wollong Company is that they will wind your hanks for free. I know I'm sounding like a sponsored video, but I swear to God, I was just so impressed. So you can, uh, when you buy a hanked uh, skein, then they'll actually wind it for you for free like if you ask them to which is amazing um i mean i i obviously have the ability to wind hanks on my own but i think actually my ball winder doesn't make hank 
or sorry, make cakes this big. Um, like it only does 50 gram cakes. So that was really nice of them. Um, I took the label off because normally it comes with a label, which is also nice. So that it, you, you still know like what the yarn is and, and I think the possibly the care instructions. I haven't looked that closely into it, sorry. Um, and I also got just got black uh, because I, I figured if the uh, the cardigan that I'm making with the green um, turned out well, then I would just make another one also in black because I think that'd be cute to have a nice, a nice crop black cardigan. I don't know what I'm going to do with the macadamia color, but I feel like it's so versatile again. Like I could even... I could hold these two together and that'd be really a, that'd be a really cute situation but i just thought it would be nice to try and i am really happy with this color especially and the green one the black obviously black is black um i think that's it for acquisitions that i have on hand um i did end up also buying just randomly two skeins of the alpaca the lang alpaca uh in like a beige color just to see if it would look good with the noro but then again i ended up going with the sir alpaca instead but i left that at my parents house so that's i think that's pretty much everything for acquisitions i don't have a lot of plans in mind right now because i have these whips that i'm juggling i have some like vague thoughts in my head of what i might want to do but i think I, my stash is at the point where I want to maybe pause as much as possible buying new yarn. I also have a shipment coming in from Big Little Yarn Company of their uh, yokai pre-order. I think it might have actually arrived already, but again, I sent it to my parents' house, so I'm not, I don't know for sure, and I don't have it on hand. Um, so that'll be in the next video. But I don't have a lot of plans uh, because I just want to focus on my stash and see if I can make stuff from what I have right now. I have some some ideas here and there, um, but I am pretty busy right now. I have a lot going on in my professional and my personal life. Um, nothing bad, it's just busy. So not a ton of time to think about knitting, even though I am trying to still knit a little bit every day. Um, but... I think I'm pretty happy with where I'm at with my whips. I'm of course super excited to finally get my hands on this Noro. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to at least give another update for all of you. Um, appreciate you all sticking around and watching me talk about knitting. And I will definitely, definitely make sure to upload next month as well. Um, even though I am going on this trip, I should hopefully have at least a few days here and there to sit down and do some updates. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I know this is probably going to be a, a shorter video, uh, but I hope that you enjoy my little update. And if you could let me know what your spring knitting plans or what you're working on right now, would love to hear it. I think it is true that a lot of people tend to slow down a little bit as the weather gets warmer because a lot of knitting is like pretty like cold weather related right we're knitting sweaters or etc like hats and, and shawls and whatever it is um but I think there's definitely still projects that can be worked on even as the sun comes out although I am very excited to be able to spend more time outside and get some more sunshine um but definitely we'll be working on projects throughout the spring and, and even in the summer, to like, let's be honest, I will be, I will be knitting, um, but I will probably transition more into like maybe cotton and, and lighter materials and things like that. So yeah, anyways, I will see you next time. Um, thanks as always and have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. Bye-bye.